Hello, everyone out there in technology land. My name is Eric, and I haven't mentioned much about my cancer treatment, but on this podcast, I'm going to do a little ranting on it. Welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. As of in April, I was taking, uh, what you call it, the radiation treatment for my prostate cancer. February, a year ago, uh, I was drugged up with the hormone treatment, which I didn't like, radiation, which I didn't like. And uh, I have friends who says to me, oh, you're crazy. You just, just, just be happy that you're alive. And I had made one or two podcasts on on the subject, you know. Well, I got my last homo treatment last month. And I had my follow-up with the radiologist in December of last year. So the prognosis so far is pretty good. I mean, they claim... They caught it in time, and my cancer was um, confined. So everyone said, well, you should be jumping for joy, jumping for joy. Uh, Don't get me wrong. I appreciate everything. I do appreciate life. I'm glad to be alive and all this. It's just that the process, the process they go through to make you whole again, I guess they call it. And... I don't know what to say about it. I, I'm, the only thing I don't like about the, the side effects of all this, the side effects of the, radi- the, radi- the radiation is, um, well, lucky for me, I don't have to wear diapers, but there is, but my butt was sore in that area that they put the radiation in. The side effects from the hormone treatment, as everybody know, is um, pretty much uh, hot flashes, no sex drive. <laughs> the hot flashes comes and goes, and it goes pretty, you know, pretty quick. They always come when at the least, when I'm the least expected. That's when I get the hot flashes. But the thing that pretty bothered me the most, and being a male, is. The sex drive. I, ha- I haven't had a sex drive in the last year since I got the homo treatment. So last time I had sex was in January of last year. I got this, my first homo shot in February of last year. And just got my last homo shot a couple of weeks ago. So I Google it and it claimed that it takes a year after your last homo shot. It takes a year for your sex drives to come back. And uh, I have a friend, I was talking to him about it, and he goes, you're crazy. Just, just be happy that you're alive. Don't worry about your sex drive. Well, I mean, I, I may be in my 70s, but I ain't dead. My 95-year-old grandmother used to say to my mother, I ain't dead yet. I mean, I'm not dead. Um, I mean, it's one thing to naturally don't have a sex drive. It's another thing for someone to take that sex drive away from you. So, I just want to say, so far, so good. I mean, the radiologist last year in December didn't say that I was in remission, didn't say the cancer was gone. He just said, it looks like it's gone. Um, Being that I took my last hormone shot last month, I have a follow-up with my urologist in April, and supposedly I get a prognosis in April whether I'm cancer-free. So I just want to, just a little message, keep you on the journey. I'm well. I'm doing fine. And I'm really doing this podcast, many for, because they claim a lot of black men, um, 
get prostate cancer and they wait too late. And my, my message is this. I was taking care of my dad when I came down and he had to go to his doctors. I drove him to all his doctors and his urologist is the one who told me that he had to um, keep me, he had to keep an eye on me because my dad had prostate cancer. Okay. So that's what kept me, maybe that's what saved me because otherwise I probably, you know, they caught it in time because I was seeing a urologist on a yearly basis after my dad passed away. So um, they caught it in time. And I just want to let all you black men out there, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, because I used to hate it. I hate it when I go to the, prost- the urologist and like to stick his finger up your butt. I didn't like that at all. But it had to be done. I'm happy that he did do it. I'm happy that so far they caught it in time. I won't know my final prognosis until April. So I just want to keep you guys in the loop. My name is Eric. And you just heard, maybe not too crazy-ness as in my head today.